This is my game Omnipresence. I've been working on it for just under a week, and I think it's a bit of an improvement from when I tried to make it over two years ago. I want this game to be mindless fun, reminiscent of Doom, Superhot, and my favourite game of all time, Titanfall 2. And I'm pretty mindless, so that probably explains why I put so much time into all of these games. In my game, you play as a computer virus who can take control of any robot. Here's how it looked in my old game. This means that when you're low on health, you have to find a new host to survive. And since you're in a different body each time, you'll always be using different weapons. It's a pretty cool concept, right? Yes. Yes it is. It, just, just trust me. Since I was a terrible game dev back then, which I, I'm totally not anymore, I think the only right way to go about this is to start again from scratch. And what does every good FPS game need? Great movement. Well, yeah, it also needs guns, but we'll get to that. I'm a complete idiot because I decided to make the player movement from scratch using real physics, and that was just the beginning. Here I at least got the bean to stand up, so the progress was real. My next attempt got a little better, but I kept flying away into the void. I then realized that in my code, I told the player to speed up constantly while moving, but never gave it a maximum speed. Oh, and I also forgot to add friction. I just can't believe no one has thought of this in real life, we'd be traveling so fast. And after a couple of hours of me looking up physics formulas, you can now walk around, jump, slide, and I'll probably add some other stuff later on. So my last game looked, well, uh, like the game of all time. And while I do want to keep that simplicity, I also have to make it, you know, nice to look at so that it'll be easy to market. I'm, I, I mean, uh, so my players have a great time. In Titanfall, there's a map called War Games, which looks really nice, so I copied it. I mean, I took heavy inspiration. I built the map and added a fuck ton of reflections so that it looks nicer. I'll definitely expand on this look, but for now I think it looks pretty good. I actually made this map by making small blocks that fit together perfectly so that I can change them quickly at any point. I tried making this game twice before, but I failed completely, I just didn't have the skills. I did get to practice my animation skills in this other version though, which still look pretty good, but I'm gonna remake all of this, it's just too early in development to start making animations. I added the view model from that game into my new one just so I have something to work with, but looking around and moving is, well, it's nothing special and it's too static. I want to make this game satisfying even when you're not doing anything, so I added some weapon sway when you look around and some tilt when you're walking side to side, along with your arms bobbing when you walk which looks kind of unnatural in my opinion, I, just kidding, I fixed it. And all of this immediately looks so much better, and the cool thing is, it's not even using any animations. I would go into how this works, but all of you would stop watching, and I really need that viewer retention. But wait, what's a shooter without, well, th the shooting? So that's what I worked on next. I used the same system I used for weapon sway to make the gun have recoil when you shoot, which obviously worked on the first try. And you can now shoot yourself. Let me know if you think this should be considered a bug or a feature. Obviously, I'll have an animation on the gun as the bolt goes back and the trigger being pulled, but again, it's too early to work on that. Keep in mind, most of these things you see are placeholder just so I can build up the main game. I added casings that come out of the gun when you shoot and muzzle flash, and now you can finally hit that subscribe button, because this will be a devlog series and I'd be devastated if you didn't follow along. I then added just a little screen shake when you shoot just to make the gun feel more powerful. I'm not just going to have guns in the game, and I don't want too many, because I think it's safe to say we all hate when there's six different assault rifles in the game but they all have the exact same stats. So I want to have much less weapons in the game but all of them have to feel completely unique. Here's a list of the weapons I want in my game. These are guns which I personally find really satisfying and unique because I don't think I can handle seeing another M4A1 or AK-47 reload. Oh and how cool would a whip be in a game? You've never seen that before right? Anyways, I realized some physics calculations were slightly off, leading to you being flipped upside down and the gravity pulling you upwards. After that was fixed, I moved on to the main mechanic. I made this enemy, which by the way is the final look. I spent a lot of time designing it, so I hope you guys like it. I added two other placeholder models for a pistol and a shotgun so I can make the weapons switch to test the mechanic, which I'll start calling transforming for now till I come up with a cooler name, or you know, you can leave a comment so I can just steal your ideas. Once I had that, I made you and the enemy be able to switch places and rotate to where each other was looking. And surprisingly, that worked on the first try. By the way, I think this mechanic is awesome and I can't wait to let you guys try maybe a demo of the game and see what cool things you come up with. I think this mechanic completely changes how you approach a fight and I even have a cool idea which you will absolutely love. 
basically i have something called self-execution now youtube don't take my channel down i can explain so i was thinking you could pull out a grenade and put it in your mouth and switch to someone else last second to kill them or maybe break your own legs and switch to another person which means that enemy won't be able to walk anymore so think of a glory kill but on yourself oh and you can finally have a mexican standoff with yourself which i never knew i wanted to try till now Wow, I got more done in this week than I did in three months when I first tried this, which means I'm improving. I'll try to get a Steam page up for this game soon so I can get those sweet wish lists. If you made it this far, I think it's safe to say that you love my content and you don't want to miss out on the next Omnipresence dev vlog, so a subscribe would be amazing. Also, thank you guys for 500 subs. My goal is 100 million by the end of the year, but don't worry, I believe in you guys. You got this. And as always, thank you for watching.